Hello and welcome to Scale Down Customs. On the workbench today is going to be the Ferrari 458 Italia from Fujimi. So let's open her up and see what we got. Ooh, very nice clear parts. I like how it has the molded in trim. That'll make it easy to mask and paint. Very nice. The interior pieces. Uh, with the seats in there, that might make it a little bit hard to kind of to custom paint those seats if I want to, but um, yeah, lots of detail. Very nice. Yeah, very nice detail on some of these pieces. Uh, yeah, lots of detail on those tires. Very nice detail on those tires. Ooh, very nice look on that uh, kit chrome. It's uh, got more of a dull aluminum look. I really like that. I might end up keeping that. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do anything with that. Very nice. Hmm, very nice detail on the body. Minimal mold lines, those will come off real easy. Nice panel lines too. I'll probably scribe those, but uh, they don't really need it that much. Those look really nice. Very clean and detailed decals. And the instruction sheet. So not a whole lot of parts in this kit, but there are enough parts and they are detailed. They are very detailed. Uh, I'm excited to see how this build's gonna turn out. All right, so first things first is just gonna be body and parts prep. So just cleaning off those very minimal mold lines, sanding down the body and the rest of the body pieces. And then of course, cutting the rest of the pieces off the sprues and getting them ready for primer and paint as well. Cleaning off any mold lines or sprue cut points. But yeah, the detail on this kit is exceptional. So I'm excited to see how this turns out. All right, let's get the work. All right, I got my body and body pieces all cleaned up, uh, sanded down, sprue points cut. I got some of the panel lines scrubbed out just a little bit more. They didn't really need it that much, but just to give it a little bit more depth. Some of these pieces can actually, actually all the body pieces can go on before paint, which would, I would get a better bond if I glued those on prior to paint. However, it will make painting some of these vents and things a little bit more difficult. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue on the side skirts um, because those I can mask off relatively easily. And that way I'll get a good bond with those on the body because I don't want those coming off when I'm trying to squeeze the body together. So I think I'll glue these on first and then um, we'll just have to figure out how I'm gonna paint the rest of these vents and stuff. So if I'm gluing plastic to plastic, if I haven't painted anything yet, I like to use my Tamiya Extra Thin Cement because it kind of welds the, the plastic together actually. So I'm gonna be using that for my plastics. All right, I'm gonna let those parts dry up and then uh, I think we're ready for some primer. All right, got my body cleaned up and ready for some primer as well as all my other parts. Cleaned off the sprues, 
Mold lines cleaned off, all of them ready for uh, primer. So I'm gonna go do that. And for my primer, what I've been using lately, and I've been liking this, is the Mr. Surface 1000. And I'll usually thin this down with their, uh, their just their thinner, the 110. So I'm about half and half on, uh, on these. And I actually did decide to take the chrome, the kit chrome off of the rims, even though I thought it looked really good. Some of the chrome I still kept, so I'll be keeping the chrome on some of these pieces. Uh, but the rims, I, I just couldn't, I don't know. The more I looked at them, the more I kept thinking there was just something a little off with them. Um, so I decided to go ahead and take the chrome off with just my oven cleaner. And I want to go a little bit darker than what the rims came with. So still haven't figured that out yet, but um, I don't know. I just wanted to go a little bit darker. So we're gonna paint those a different color as well. So let's go spray some primer. All right, got all my parts into primer, including the body. And a couple things I noticed before I primed was there were a couple of high spots right here uh, where these three mounting posts are. So I sanded those down, we'll check them again, and then I'm seeing a little bit of what may be a low spot uh, on the corresponding tab on the inside. And the rest of the body actually looks really pretty smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and block sand this down um, just to make sure everything is perfectly smooth before we paint it. So I'm gonna get the sanded down, another coat of primer, um, and then lightly smooth that off, and then we'll be ready for some paint. All right, so this is why we block sand. Um, you can see a low spot there from the corresponding tab on the inside. A little bit of a high spot there on the door. Of course, the, uh, the panel lines, there's always gonna be high spots, so that's why I like to hit some of those. But uh, the panel line for the hood, and then the same thing on this side, a little bit of a low spot for that corresponding tab on the inside, and then a little bit of a low spot on the door as well. So I'm gonna be hitting all this stuff uh, a little bit of a low spot there, again, corresponding from some tabs on the inside there. And then the three mounting um, tabs on the, uh, the underside of the, the back fender as well. So 
that's why I block sand before I final paint. Um, again, not necessary, but it just adds a little bit more of a smooth finish to the final product. So I'm going to go ahead and finish sanding this down and then get it another coat of primer on it. All right, I got my four coats of Ferrari Blue Scusia on there. Uh, looking pretty good. So let's put some decals on, let those dry out, and then we'll be ready for some clear on this.
All right, so I got these wheels painted in a dark aluminum, but I think I am gonna change my mind and I think I'm gonna go with something a little bit lighter, like a more of a polished aluminum. Um, I think that'll look a little bit better with that dark paint. Um, so I'm gonna restrip these wheels down and uh, get those repainted up because I don't wanna lose any of the detail on there. So, and then even though I painted this black and then repainted the interior tan, masked off the seats in the center console, and then I'll repaint that black again. Sometimes it just works out different than you think, but uh, masking and repainting, sometimes you have to do that. And then I did, uh, got the gauge cluster uh, masked off so I can two-tone the dashboard, or actually three-tone, because I'm gonna paint the, the center strip on there as well. So I'm gonna go paint these things black and then uh, keep moving forward. All right, so I overmasked, uh, especially on the center console. So I'll have to be, I'll have to hand paint some of that just to finish it up. But uh, at least I got the seats and the center console in that leather look. So I'll be hand painting some of that to finish that out. And then same thing with the dash. I've got a little bit of touch up I'll need to do and then finish hand painting that divider strip on there and then some of the buttons and stuff. So anyway, making a little progress here and there. So let's keep working at it. Mm -hmm. 